What's up guys, it's Cody. Um, we've reached 124 subscribers. And as I promised, once we get to 100, I was gonna do a tough wrap giveaway. Um, these are my favorite colors, the black and gold. But it's up to you guys, um, whatever length or size or color you want. Um, we're gonna do a giveaway, just, he's gonna set it up. I'm not sure how he's gonna do it, but um, you just send either one of us a screenshot that you follow us and what else. Okay, so I think I'm going to make it a closed link, which you'll have to go to. Uh, you're gonna have to check off, you know, each thing. Either it's the follow on Instagram, sub on YouTube, you know, like on a video, anything like that. I'm not sure entirely what I'm gonna put in it yet, but it's gonna have to check off each mark before uh, you're actually entered. So, yeah. he's the tech guy. <laughs> I just lift the weights but um yep yeah, so just a recap on iron wars um i got second and 225 rep off for 52 reps um i think there was one rep where i maybe overextended or something i did something with my shoulder and um as you can see is the video 315 came down i went to press up it just fell down on my chest i heard like a some kind of a noise in this area it's crazy because i was warming up with four or five so I don't know what happened, but I went to the doctor um, Tuesday after I got back, and uh, he said something about partial dislocation on my shoulder. He said that I got lucky because I had enough mass like to hold it from completely falling out. Um, it's been days. What, just about a, a little over a week? A week and a half, just about, um, since it happened. And today was my first day back in the gym. Um, I did some light deadlifts, some light bent over rows, and low cable rows, just stuff like that. Um, I tried to bench the bar. Um, when I came down the, my left side, I couldn't get it to touch my chest. So I probably just need to let it heal up a little bit. But um, I was very, very excited to just go lift at CT's gym. I was disappointed in myself for not being able to do the 315 and 405, but just based off the numbers, I think you I would definitely would have placed first. I think I'd have got first at three fifteen. Um, it's kind of a toss up, but four or five, I would have got second or third. Uh, there's a guy that hit it for eighteen, so my number, my highest number is ten. So we also went to the Fit Expo. Um, there, we went there on Saturday, and uh, our Lyft driver <laughs> was an idiot. <laughs> So he was like literally taking so many wrong turns. It was supposed to be like a 20 minute drive and it ended up being like almost an hour. Oh, it was rough. And then like we were both like nauseous when we got I don't know what's up with the drivers in LA, but I don't know. We, <laughs> we were about to throw up. Compared to out here? Yeah, it's weird. So we went there. Um, there was really only a few people we wanted to see. He met Iron Sanctuary. It was pretty um, cool, yeah. He follows him on Instagram. I... I wanted to see Big Boy, but the dang line was literally wrapped around the entire building. So um, they did us a favor towards the end, and we, were, we got to take the last picture with him and talk to him for a second. We got to meet Kali Muscle. Um, he was he was a funny guy. Like I thought I didn't know how he was going to be because I never met him before. But yeah, he was he was real genuine. Yeah, he took his that, time. That's what surprised me. He took his time with everybody. Yeah, and listened to people too. So that yeah, was, I was wondering why the line was taking so long, but once we got up there, it kind of yeah. all made sense. You know, he took all his time with everybody, and that's all you want from these people. So, and, well, Chef Rush had his booth set up, but they said he wouldn't be there until Sunday. He was doing some some filming or something. Yeah, yeah Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, so that's gonna be pretty cool to watch, but um. Yeah, I think we're gonna throw together like a short video of the expo. Just like I said, our Lyft driver got us there like super late. I just want to give a shout out to Limitless Muscle and Endo Champ and Mike, the owner, um, for you know the bag for the 225 rep off. And then um, he reached out to me to become an affiliate with him. And uh, they're so it seems like they're an awesome company. He messaged me today about a uh, competition slash. So like booth set up in uh, Atlanta, so we're, I think we're going to try to get there. You think you're um, going to be ready for it? You going to try to bench or? I don't know if I'm a bench or not. I will have to see how I'm feeling. It's, it's like I got almost two weeks till then, so we'll see what what I'm feeling yeah, like. But that's all that we can do. Just uh, he said, Endo Champ was going to be there, so I just kind of want to 
you know, get my face out. It'll and, be cool to be around him again. Yeah. You yeah. know, he was definitely a... Uh, I don't, I've never met someone so hyped. Like, I wonder, like, oh, I wonder if, like, in just chill mode, if he has a chill mode. Like, I wonder if he's, he's just got always hyped. He's got a chill mode. He's just always hyped. I don't know, but whoever gave him a microphone... <laughs> someone actually commented on my my channel and said, uh, who gave Endo Champ the microphone? <laughs> and I, I said, I don't know, but, um... He's just, he's a super hype guy, so I, I like him. It definitely helped the environment out, Yeah, I'd say. Yeah, and um, it was crazy. There was no guys that signed up for the squat at Iron Wars. And I was you like, already know he squatted four or five, 700 pounds. <laughs> nah, I just hopped in and did four or five, you know. I was surprised my, my shoulder That was after me. you messed up your shoulder, right? Yeah, I was surprised my shoulder even let me get back there. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it was it was a good time. Like, it was everything I thought it would be and more. I mean, it was just, just to be there. It was, I don't know. I wasn't actually getting to talk with CT this time. It was good. I met him in Houston one time, and uh, I, I, let, I cut the line because I was working with the Tough Raps booth, and I went to the corner, and he said, Cody, you don't get both their asses kicked because <laughs> this whole line is going to see you come talk to me. But he was he was just kidding. But we, uh, we talked, like, you know, maybe 30 seconds, but um, just just to get to go and actually talk to him, and he just came, he came up and was like, what's up, Cody? Like, that was pretty cool, and um, everyone there was so nice, like, oh, for literally, sure. like, I didn't know what to expect. I was like, are these people going to be rude, or are they going to be, like, stuck up? But everybody was just humble and awesome. Yeah, like, we met a bunch of cool people when we were there. Mr. Yeah. Obese. Oh, dude. All of them. He's a freaking you monster. Know. Oh, Samson. Uh, man. Samson came up to me before the competition and wished me good luck. He's just, he's a super humble guy. And very, he's very quiet, but he's a super humble guy and I like him. Um, you know, that was unreal, him just coming up saying, you know, he was rooting for you. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. He, uh, he also, I think he hit 48. He hit a high number. He hit 48, I think is what it was. And, uh, which is outstanding because he was middleweight. Yeah. So he, he, he smoked the middleweight. Um, See Kong, man, he did his thing. I mean, he he said what he was gonna do. He came there and did it. And I mean, I knew it was gonna be between me and him on the two twenty five. I was like, you know, he called me about a week before. And we're we're talking about things, and uh, he was like, you know, it's just amazing that someone that this is a, my main thing. This is what I do for fun. You know, I have a, a day job that I work ten to twelve hours a day. Um, pretty physical job and just to still have the energy to come in and lift is, is you know I'm blessed to have that I mean there are some days that I come in and I'm just like I don't really feel like doing anything but it turns out that those become my best best workouts you know I want to send a special thanks to Jay and Sonya at Tough Raps um, I don't know if some of you guys may know I had a daughter pass away April and uh, she was uh, one of our twins. And uh, they made me these shirts with uh, her name on the back. So that was pretty cool. Oh, I gave CT one and uh, Samson one. I actually mailed Kong his. I don't know. I messaged him earlier to see if he got it or not. But uh, it was pretty cool, man. Um, Tough Raps has been there since, since the beginning. And uh, to me, they're the best raps there is. Like, that's the whole reason that I even talk about them so much. You know, just for a company, just uh, yeah. You know, we were just nobodies. Yeah. And for them to treat us like we're any one of their biggest athletes, it's uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's a real. Uh, well, they have a company welcome you like that. So well, they treat everyone like that. That's the thing. It's like, it doesn't matter if you can lift five pounds or seven hundred pounds. Um, they absolutely love everyone. They. I mean, the owners run the company. I mean, they're, you know, they got a few workers, but it's like, you know, they bust their butt to make sure that everyone gets what they order. And uh, I'm not paid by them or anything, so just don't want you to think I'm, you know, sucking up to them. But no, they, they really are the best. Um, oh, for sure. And uh, Mike, um, with Limitless Muscle, I'm looking forward to getting to know him more. And um, I mean, if Endo Champs with him, I mean, he's got, it's got to be something, you know.
So, um, I just want to say thanks for the all the likes and the subscribers. I think we've gained just about a hundred subscribers. Um, in what, eight days since yeah. it's been posted. Yeah, and we got. Um, I think it's like almost 9,000 views on that video just about so that was really cool um, I'm looking forward to doing more content. I just Like I said, I mean South Carolina is kind of boring. So um, we're gonna look for ways to entertain you guys and um, Just stay tuned. Yeah, you know, we're, we're definitely gonna be posting a lot more uh, You know following this guy around he's Superhuman almost, but uh, <laughs> no, we're definitely gonna find some you know enjoyable content for you guys and uh, keep everything rolling out. Yeah. You know, that's all we can do. As soon as this shoulder is back to normal, um, for Iron War 7, I hope it's gonna be in January like it's supposed to be. Um, I'm looking for 225 for 70 plus reps. Um, Got to. I mean, I, uh, someone messaged me and said that the, the record was like 67 or something, but I don't know. I, I feel like I got it in me. Um, I know from just from that experience, I know things that I need to work on to get me there. Um, I was, we were actually training for a one rep max. So I wasn't training for the rep off. like at all. And And um, so I just kind of went there. I got, I guess, you know, that was a five rep PR for me. I hit 47 and then I got 52 there. So um, I guarantee you 70 is coming soon. Yep. But uh, thanks for watching and um, we're going to get you guys some good, good content. Dang, it wasn't recording.